Through every battle, through every heartbreak, through every circumstance, I believe that you are my fortress, you are my portion, you are my hiding place, yeah. I believe you are the way, the truth, the life. I believe you are the way, the truth, the life. I believe through every blessing, through every promise. Celebrate Recovery family. My name's Candy, and I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. And I am glad you are here tonight. Um, I'm in recovery for codependency, emotional eating, and depression. And Celebrate Recovery has been the tool that God has used in my life to restore me to sanity. And I know if it's your first time here tonight, we just want to say welcome. And we truly, truly hope that you will find a safe place for you to begin the healing process in your life to restore you to sanity. 
One quick uh, announcement is November 5th, we are going to be having um, an in-person Thursday night meeting, so mark it on your calendar, November 5th. It's gonna be very similar to the last one we did with a Mark Miranda barbecue. We're taking a poll, do you want Mark Miranda chicken, do you want hot dogs, or do you want barbecued hamburgers? So um, let your leaders know, um, not tonight in the meeting, but um, text us, let us know, because um, we're here to serve you. Mark Miranda wants to do chicken again, and we love that chicken, I'll tell you that. But um, we also wanna leave it out there and say, hey, what do you guys wanna do for dinner? So that's gonna be uh, November 5th. Now tonight, we're gonna be having um, a brief devotional from Dr. David Stoop and Steve Arterburn again, and they're gonna be talking to us about step four. And so step four um, says, out of the 12 steps, we made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. And Lamentations 340 says, let us examine our ways and test them, and let us return to the Lord. And so step four is all about examining our ways, things we thought we were doing right. We find out maybe we weren't so right. People that have hurt us in the past um, have caused us to react differently than what we would normally react if we were reacting out of our whole healed self. So there's a saying in Celebrate Recovery, hurt people, hurt people. And so we want to get this cleaned out. So let's listen to um, Dr. David Stoop and Steve Arterburn. Hi, I'm uh, Dave Stoop, and I'm sitting here with Steve Arterburn, and we're the uh, editors of the Life Recovery Bible, and we're talking about the 12 steps, and today we're talking about step number four. And step four is where a lot of people really get stuck. They, uh, they come to this step, and it's like it doesn't sound that bad until you uh, see that there's a couple words in there that make this a deep beginning of a, a deep yeah. process. Well, I want to read the verse because this is uh, one of the most powerful verses uh, that I think that corresponds with the step. And, and it's essentially, or it is, Lamentations 340, where it says, let us test and examine our ways. Let us turn back to the Lord. And, you know, this, uh, this examination of ourselves, a lot of times, uh, that examination is only of the shame that we're experiencing mm -hmm. or that we're, we're feeling. But I believe that a searching and fearless inventory that we take means that I push away the shame a little bit so that I can truly search for what it is that, that has been done, that is there, and, and then I can be honest about that and fearlessly mm -hmm. look at the truth about my life. You know, and, and the importance of this step is, is so critical because uh, the alcoholic, the addict, the sex addict, the overeater, whatever the addiction, we're always blaming somebody else. Mm -hmm. We're saying, oh, because they said this or they did that or the way my mother was. You know, It's always blame, blame, blame and never any responsibility. This step says... No, we look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. And you said fearless fearless moral inventory. I remember the days when in treatment they used to hire pastors to listen to this step because they didn't have to report anything. Yeah. And that's how that's how fearless sometimes this this inventory is that uh, we we really start to dig deep and put things out on the table that We've never spoken of, maybe. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, it's in our secrecy of these moral uh, dilemmas that we face and where we fail morally, it's in our secretness that we really get sicker. And, and mm -hmm. to take a look at this, because the next step's going to lead us to reveal these things to someone. Yeah. But to first of all just take that look. Uh, it, it's a huge step, especially if we're not using our uh, favorite coping mechanism <laughs> to kind of numb the pain a little yeah, bit. You have to get off your, fa your favorite coping mechanism if you're going to do this. That's, that's why it's a fearless uh, inventory. And it looks at moral issues. It looks at the things that I've done that have been wrong, the things that I've done that have been hurtful, uh, things that I have done for whatever reason, mm -hmm. all the things that I've done. And uh, I search and I search and I search, you know. And Romans 12 uh, also talks about, you know, let, let us make a sane estimate of mm -hmm. ourselves. So look at it 
objectively and, and write that list. And it's going to take some time, but this is a critical part of uh, the whole recovery and healing process. If we skip this step, uh, we have sabotaged the whole process. This yeah. is this is a very critical point that we come to. And one final note, and that is that when we're doing a, a searching moral inventory, it might mean that since we were so um, delusional or <laughs> we were so deluded uh, during many points of our life that we may need to search out some people that could help us understand what happened and, and what we did and what were the decisions that we made. So we can really understand it. You yeah. Know? And, and, you know, the whole thing with an, an addiction is denial. And then denial works for my benefit. You know, I always thought it was you were in denial to fool me. But no, you're in denial to fool yourself. And so yeah. this is a way of coming out of that denial. And it's a process. It's something that we'll continue to do as we see. But this is the beginning of it, and this is where we really dig deep and get to whatever we can get to yeah. in the healing process. Right. So we're back. Um, some of you have already gone through the fourth step and some of us many times through the fourth step and every time I do a new step study, something new is revealed. And I had a sponsor and she was um, dyed in the wool AA before she came to celebrate recovery. And she has a saying that says more will be revealed. And let me tell you, <laughs> every time I get to the place where I'm like, oh my gosh, this feels so good, I'm so cleansed, all of this is out in the open, um, it gives me a while and more is revealed. And that's what this fourth step is all about, doing a searching moral inventory of ourselves. And I like what Dr. David Stoop said. He said, let's dig deep and get to whatever we can get to in the healing process. And this is all about a healing process, taking back what Satan tried to rob us of and giving us the joy, breaking the chains that have had us bound. So sometimes we think that examination is only of the shame that we're experiencing, um, but Stephen Arterburn talked about um, searching and fearless inventory. We push away the shame so we can truly search out the fear and the truth. And so shame sometimes really blinds us. And um, Peter and Alice Witt um, have a saying that I just love, and they always say, what stays in the dark grows in the dark. What comes to the light dies in the light. So the thing that we're the most afraid of, the thing that we're most shameful of, grows inside of that dark place in our heart. But once we get to it, we write it down, we talk to our sponsor about it, our accountability partners, we pray for each other, God heals us in those deep ways. So you have a lot to look forward to. Yes, it's a lot of hard work. Be sure and get your rest. Be sure and eat well, exercise, drink your water. Um, because emotional, um, pain does take its toll on us physically. So I just want to say carve out time to be good to yourself and allow the Holy Spirit to surface the things in your life that he wants to change and that he wants to remove, that he wants to shed his light on and bring truth to the lies and light to the darkness. It's a big thing, you guys. So tonight I want you to do a check-in with your groups. Um, I want you to check in and let us know how you're doing and um, just 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 tell us where you're at in your recovery what you need what's working what's not working um, and if you need a prompting question the question will be let's see um, what are your thoughts regarding the fourth step so if you need something to talk about go ahead and go with that if not share of yourself start opening up sharing with the safe people in your group so if you haven't already gotten a text to the Zoom meetings, you should be getting one shortly. Um, women, if you have any questions or you have trouble getting on, you can text CANDY at 805-296-9305 and men can text TIM at 805-550-1212. Thanks for being here tonight, you guys. Look forward to seeing you on Zoom. Bye-bye.